Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to add records to our Microsoft Access 2003 database using bb.net. First thing we need to do is we're going to place our database into our project file. To do that, go into your My Documents. Then, you'll see here Visual Studio 2010. If you are working on Visual Studio 2010, or if you have Visual Studio 2008, click on 2008. But for me, I'm working on 2010, then after that, go to Projects, then choose the file name of the data source you are working on. I'm using on Add Data, so I'm going to choose Add Data. Add Data again, go to Bin, and paste your database here. Okay, after you have done that, go to your project, and let's start signing. First thing we need to do, let's add some two label here. Change the first name of the the text of the first label into ID. Add some new label here. Change the text into full name. Okay guys, then add some two text box. Change the name of the first text box into txt id. Then the second text box into txt full name. That's it, guys. <coughs> then we're going to add some two buttons here. Drag a button here. Change the name of the first button into btn add. Then change its text into add. Drag another button again. Change its text into btn save. Then change its text into save okay then add some data grid view that's it guys we're done the signing and let's get the code started now first thing is double click on the form so that we will go into be in the form one load event but we're not going to code in this part yet we're going to first declare our import. Type here imports system dot data dot TV. Okay. Then after we declare our import, we're going to declare our connection variable. Type here team con cons variable name as new OLED TV. OLED TV connection. OLED TV connection as data type. Then after that, go to form one load event then specify our connection string by typing here con that connection string equals to quotation mark provider equals to microsoft dot jet dot oled dot four four point zero semicolon data source equals to dot dot backslash sample at mdb then open and close our connection just to test if it's working con dot open con dot close okay here guys our provider is still the same like in my previous video then our data source since i put my database in my sample in my project file in my bin I change my data source into some dot dot backslash sample dot mdb. This dot dot means it's like a shortcut that my program will automatically automatically detect that my database is in my project file bin here, guys. Right? Then don't forget your sample dot mdb, my file name of my database. Then okay, let's create a new sub. 
type here guys private sub show items there first thing we need to do is we're going to declare our data table data set and all the db data adapter dim dt as new all the db as new oops sorry as new data table dim ds space as new data set then ds dot tables dot add dt then dim da as new all the db data adapter select this from the table con <coughs> okay here guys oops I declare my there let's put my code here a bit yeah. change the code like this guys there that one yep okay here guys our data adapter query is select asterisk from phone book table meaning I'm going to select all the records here in my phone book table if you want only the ID to be used asterisk change the asterisk into ID and full name if you want only full name by the way guys don't forget to always have a primary key like my like mine here my primary key is ID okay don't forget that primary key always have a primary key then fill the data table like by doing this code then we're going to show now how to display our database records into our data grid view type here data grid view 1 since we did not rename our data grid view data source equals to dt that default view then there guys by the way we still have a missing code since we have open and close our connection here we must open our connection here again because we close it in the form one load event type here above the da con dot open then below data grid v1 code type here con dot close okay once you have done that guys, we're going to call our show items co code by typing here at the form1 underscore load. Type here show items. Okay, that's it guys. Let's check if our code is working. Okay guys, our code is working.